Hey, this is Ozzy Carmona, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the Squire Bullet Stratocaster HT electric guitar. We'll talk about what types of music you can play with it, we'll also talk about some of the features, and of course, I'll run you through all of the different tones it can create. This one is in black, but it's also available in a handful of other really cool colors. The Stratocaster design was debuted by Fender in 1954, and at that time, the single cutaway Telecaster guitar was already becoming a popular choice for musicians, but some wanted a more comfortable guitar. So enter the Stratocaster with more rounded edges. It also has a double cutaway body, which refers to these cutouts right here, that allow for easy access to the higher frets. There's also a forearm contour right here, and then what we call the belly cut. This allows the guitar to fit comfortably against your body. Also, the Tele had two pickups, whereas the Stratocaster has three. That's these parts right here, which convert the string vibrations to an electrical signal and out to an amplifier via the output jack. That's this part right over here. The Squire Bullet Stratocaster has a five-way selector switch, which gives you five different tones. And if you alter the volume or tone controls, you can dial it in even further. Now, one thing I wanted to note is that the bridge on this guitar, which is this part right here, is called a hardtail, meaning that it doesn't move. The bridge anchors the strings onto or through the body and sets the height of the strings across the fretboard. Some guitars have a tremolo bridge, which is a bridge that can be moved up and down to raise and lower the pitch. A hardtail would be a good choice for first-time players as it makes for easier string changes and the guitar stays in tune more consistently. So what kind of sounds can you get with this guitar? Well, let's go through all five positions of the pickup selector switch. We'll work our way from the neck pickup down to the bridge pickup. The pickups sound differently depending on where they are on the guitar. So the further away from the bridge would be a warmer tone and the closer to the bridge would be brighter. We'll start with position five, which is gonna be the neck pickup only. That's this guy right here. It's also known as the front pickup and it's a favorite of blues players and even jazz players if you roll the tone down a bit. I'll go ahead and show you that. Now let's check out position four, which is gonna be a combination of the middle and neck pickups. It's gonna be a warmer tone and it's great for R&B and funk guitar playing. Now let's check out position three, which is gonna select the middle pickup only. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Now let's check out position two, which is gonna be a combination of the middle and bridge pickups, also known as the rear pickup. This is gonna give you a snappier tone and it's used a lot in country. Now let's check out position one. That's gonna be all the way down, and that's selecting your bridge or rear pickup on its own. We also call this the lead pickup because of how it can cut through and stand out in a band situation. For this demo, I've added some distortion on the Frontman 10G amp, and I'm gonna start with the guitar's volume down a bit to show how it can clean up, and then I'll roll it back up to full volume. The Bullet Stratocaster HT is a very versatile guitar. With three pickups and five tonal options and your volume and tone controls, you can pretty much dial in a tone that will work with just about every style. Artists like Buddy Holly, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, and modern players like John Frusciante, Her, and The Edge have all played and recorded with a Stratocaster. From blues to rock, funk, country, R&B, and on and on. You can go from a clean, funky tone all the way up to a heavy rock tone. And everything in between. 
Thanks for tuning in. For more information on the Squire Bullet Stratocaster HT, please head over to Fender.com and then stay tuned for more videos.